Yo, what is up, my sus fam? How are you guys all doing on this lovely Sunday day? I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, enjoying time with your family. Um, as you can see, we are back on Open Roads, and we're going to try to see if we can finish it today. I don't know how long this game is. I don't know how much more there is. So, uh, if you guys missed the last episode, we were in our little vehicle, and we are driving to here. We went... We got to this location. This is our uh, mom's old summer home she used to go to when she was a kid. We went around, explored the whole outside of the building. Uh, we found a crawl space over on this side of the house that we could have gone into. But I still wanted to go inside before I go down to the crawl space. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm pretty positive if I wanted to, I could go in through any one of the doors. Enter trailer home. Is we... this... Uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like towed by a big truck. Go on. A mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? <laughs> well, I, I will admit, it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Dun, dun, dun. We have made it inside. Uh -huh. Leto, we got a burning stove. Very old school. These have seen better days. Yeah, it's a shame they've gotten so moth-eaten. Yeah, this taxidermy must have been beautiful when it was new. Did Grandpa shoot these? Mm-hmm. Well, the pheasant. I shot the deer. Mom! That's... That's kind of awesome. You were my age? When you shot it? Younger. <laughs> Our father took us hunting during the summers when we'd stay out here. Well, mostly just me. I always did all right with hunting. I could kind of, uh, what's the word? Compartmentalize it? I don't think August could, though. I only saw her fire a gun once. A little 22 hunting rifle. She didn't want to, but my dad wouldn't let her give up. He said we weren't heading back until August took her shot. So she aimed and fired and missed. The deer ran off and August cried all the way home. <laughs> that was August's first and last hunting trip. Our father didn't have much patience for that kind of, uh, he had a real thing for, you know, not letting your emotions get in the way. Maybe it's good to let your emotions get in the way sometimes. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. Yep. I can agree with that. I don't see the harm in, you know, showing emotion. Uh, the family garden. We're going to look a little closer. Read. 75 cent. 1966. September. God damn it. Maureen Hansen. Her fabulous TV debut. Another TV magazine. Does TV advertising really work? 1968 TV. Holy moly. Dang, this place is all retroed out, bro. Invitation. Invited to what? August. Hey! So, <clears throat> quick little spoiler about myself. August 18th. That is my birth date. Uh, 7 p.m. Cindy and Mark. I'm, I'm thinking is the name. I don't. I can't read that last thing. Uh, let's pick up this postcard, darling. I know I'm running from something, but I have never felt so free. I just crossed the border and writing you from the from the desk in a room at a motel that's hidden off a little side road far from the main thoroughway. There's more driving to do before I find us a little place to settle down, but before long, I'll return. I'll have a return address for you to write back to. Don't miss me too much. Oh, 
Oh shit. <gasps> Greetings from Canada. Emare usk ad mare. Oh, whoops. There was a uh, mom moment. Oh, whoops. Nope. Stop. Oh, jeez. There we go. Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. <sighs> what was he running from? Hmm. The cops? For what? Stealing? Grandma's heart? Oh, jeez. If I would have known that's what she would have said after, I would not have chosen <laughs> okay, that option. Jess. That was corny. Oops. Sorry, I unlocked my phone and uh, apparently there was some weird goat video. We got a can. Olsen's strawberries and syrup. Put it down. Alright, just a bunch of cans. Nothing of importance. Do we do okay, I was gonna say, do we even dare open a fridge that hasn't had any uh um whatchamacallit? Any power for who knows how long. Alright, what do we got? A drawing. August new friend by August Devine. August's dad left her a special tie. It was a red tie, and it had special powers. When August wore the special tie, she met her friend Nightshade. Nightshade lived in the shadows and would always be there to help. He was August's friend who would never go away. Oi, Mom. Come read this, please. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well, that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? <laughs> Wait, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. Yeah. Past set, that's just an unfortunate thing to have to go through. Oh, Charlie, that's too much. I'm, I don't want to read it. That is way too long for my little brain. I see a little teddy bear. Creepy looking little dude. Oh, here's another Hey Mom oh, thing. Look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me at the fair. Pink. Kurt? Uh, looked brown, we, but... Okay. Mom, we met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I... Well... Was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? <laughs> it, well... Honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh, cool on his motorcycle. <laughs> he was very romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Well, a little like that. Oh, damn, oh, no. Mama knocking them boots. So what happened? Did you break up with him or? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing. It doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things. <coughs> Damn. Alright, anything else? Oh. There's a blicky in the closet. Uh, we came from the kitchen. More pamphlets. Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. <coughs> well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? 
No. God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, well what's what that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch? For getting down into the crawl space under the house. Oh, man! If I go back in there, I could climb up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I don't love the idea of you going in there again, but your logic is sound. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's weird. Is so there was a uh, yeah. I thought there was a back entrance when I went outside that there was a door I could go in. Let's go see. And then there's this other side door over here. Could I not enter in this one? What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. Okay. We can't get inside. Maybe there's another way. Okay. Okay, so then, yeah, there's still at least the back door that was around this corner that we can go investigate and see if we can go inside there. Because I think this was something I could do in the last episode. Ah. Okay. Wait, hold up. I feel like I missed something. I want to check something real quick. And if uh, my idea doesn't pan out, uh, we will go into the crawl space. Because, yeah, that seems like the next logical thing to do if I can't find what I think I might have seen on the table. Uh, where was it? It was... No. No. It was... I think it was in the kitchen. Aha! Ooh, a little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Oh, Ugh. damn, my mom Maybe is a, a smart drawer? ass. We found a little tiny key. Okay, so I was right. I thought I seen a key, but I wasn't too sure. But then I just said, you know what, let's go double check. Now let's see if this key opens this. Okay, that is a negative. Uh, no. Can I really not? So are we not going to be able to investigate Mom's old vehicle? Okay, cool game. You give me a key. Oh, well. I'm going to go under the house because, yeah, if I can't get in that door and the back door, you know, doesn't work. Then the crawl space be where I got to go. Uh, do, do, do. Enter the crawl space. Dun, dun, dun. We got a tire, we got some uh, cement, little something something under there. Oh, cool. Okay. Kind of looks like a dead cat. Ooh, this is good. Mom's got to see this. This is a space for writing messages. I'm writing you from our new home right on the water. I was looking and looking, and I realized there's no better home from us than one we could just pull up anchor and split if we really needed to. So I bought us a houseboat. It's really something else. Bought it from an older fellow who kept it perfect and was just done having a done having to maintain it in his autumn years. There's a rumor they're going to dam this river up, but that's a long time coming if it happens at all. Now, just to get you and those kids moved up here, I hope it's been a good summer. Right back discreetly, and let's make plans for the big move. Something I've learned since Leo died is uh, being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all your worries behind. <gasps> okay. Well, then let's take those. Take. Exit. Stop. Okay. There we go. Hmm, so maybe uh, they did find this gold that they were talking about. I feel like I should have found something else under here. Oh, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. There we Mom, go. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. It's a good thing I remembered that, because then I would have just been confused and walked around for who knows how long. Hey, Mom, looking like a I dummy. found something. 
Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Hmm. Can't hmm. see much of the surrounding area. It's near... trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, I gotta assume that we would- Go mechanics! Oh. oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Ford State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I guess. It'll be so exciting. Oh man, you're gonna love it. Eating lunch at Ford Hall, doing all-nighters in the library. Oh, there was this time when Lucy and I broke into the art building after hours. <gasps> I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Ooh. Pick up some, some tickets. Oh, how fun. Wait. The Michigan State Fair. Did they Fair. not get to use these? Good for one hay ride and showtime driving. Old drive road in FNAF of Kun Chukin. Yeah, okay, let's just put those back. Um, what have we got in here? We've got another drawing. The Mean Boys by August. One day August rode her bike into town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow behind under the trees because he lives in the shade. And shadows can't go in the sun. August laughed at Nightshade, ran along under the trees, and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade go, got to the town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie that made her safe, but it didn't make her safe from... Uh, flip over... Oh my goodness, there's another. Them, the mean boys came closer. They said, who are you talking to and what are you wearing, stupid? August said, my dad's tied. The mean boys said, your dad must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked for Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help because he was trapped in the shade under the tree far away. When the mean boys went away, August went under the tree with Nightshade. August's special tie was all dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help Oh. Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little. But she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Hmm. Well, being bullied and then having your father pass away, like that's all just very hard hitting stuff for a kid. So maybe she just kinda had like a shutdown or something. Okay, well we'll put that down. More paints. I don't know why it turned me all the way around over to there. Oh, jeez, let's just read it this way. Okay. Dear August, you were upset after what happened today, and that's all right. You needed some time to yourself instead of talking to me, and that's all right, too. But as upset as you are, you need to remember, boys only tease girls because they like them or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behavior to learn or to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will. Love, Mom. Damn. Oh, that was another Mom moment. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very... Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? 
I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. Well, you know, you get older, you learn things, you learn things that you did or didn't do the right way, and unfortunately there's nothing you can do about it except move on. <gasps> Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. I found a map to bury treasure in August's room. Could it be the fabled bootlegger gold? Probably not, but it might be something cool. The X marks the spot near the doghouse. All right. So we'll go outside here in a minute and go check that. Ooh. Oh my god, Aunt August. I found I a Ouija board. So many questions. Spooky. Woo. Alright, none of that though. Uh, I got a fork. Nothing. Well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? Alright, my girl's gone crazy. She's talking to inanimate objects. We found a map. About a two-hour drive. Oh, that's where Homeboy's at. So now that we have the photo and this... What's this about? We might be able to find oh, the houseboat. That was the town where Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing oh, each other once we both went home after the summer. Something different. I guess okay. I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And... That didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh, it was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Damn, Dad corny for real. Aw, that's so romantic. It's like something out of a rom-com. I, I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play on a date with someone else. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. <laughs> wow. Bold. <laughs> Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. I should have realized it was a red flag. Wait, are... Are you saying Dad cheated on you? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Just... Uh... You know, it's a sleazy move. So... Not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know. Well, the sad thing about people is you never really know. Like, you think you know somebody or, you like, their intentions or all of this other stuff, and then life changes and things happen, make people different. All right, nothing in there. Bathroom. Looks like a normal bathroom, just a little bit more hurrying down. Uh, confidential to Precious Stone. You're young, idealistic, and trust easily. You have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let someone who's more flesh 
than oh more flesh than substance. Take advantage of that. How did I say flesh? What the hell? Precious stone. This was to you. Subtle, right? My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? <gasps> Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. <laughs> you kids are wild. All right. Uh, uh, comb. No, I'm not gonna pick up a hair. I do. I will pick up the photo. Oh, it's my mom. Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as okay, a waitress so it's my at the drive-in. Okay. On roller skates? Like in the movies? Like yeah, Sonic the drive -in? Those movies were based on reality, you know. You are cute. Oh, I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're a uh, hot mom now. Uh, <laughs> what? According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? What? No! I am not. Oh yeah, no, it's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how <laughs> hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat, and I think we should keep it. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're taking a photo of our mom. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We're gonna keep checking around. I do think that might do it though. Cause yeah, I've been there now. Can't go that way because that's where we originally came in. We've already explored that room. We came in from under there, checked the map. Oh what's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think look. We could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. All right. Prediction, sus fam. So, something's buried in the backyard by the dog's house. I bet you it's the screwdriver kit or the... I bet she, it's probably the keys to my mom's van. So, we're gonna dig. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. Uh, I will not let you stop me. I'm going in! Alright, so, we found a box. Let's see if I was correct. Oh, I looked like I was wrong. Oh. Okay, so this is Nightshade's tie. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I'll miss you, August. Oh. So this is where August buried her feelings. Not figuratively Mom, either. Come literally. on, it's sad. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. Yep. All right. Fangs out. It turns out the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. JK, it was actually the grave of August's imaginary friend. I feel kind of bad for disturbing it. Well. Okay. Well, it's not what I thought it was, unfortunately. So I got to find a screwdriver now, huh? But if we can't get into the van and that didn't have a key in it. 
feel like the 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 big bro missed something somewhere. I just don't know what. Okay, so I still it it's got to be that key that I have. It's got to open something. Right? Maybe I can do the truck now. Let's see. Nope, 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 nothing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta use my brain here, y'all. I'm gonna go check in the area that we got into just a minute ago one more time and see if I missed anything maybe there is a screwdriver somewhere that I just didn't see dustpan no no it's the door that's locked there's a map there's a broom broke uh, this got down into the crawl space Aha! Uh -huh. This must be the key I to the missed van. missed something. I missed something. <laughs> no <laughs> video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. <laughs> Over the Alps. Okay, so now we're 100% explored. So let's open the door. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's go investigate the van. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. <laughs> okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. <laughs> well, I could look if, like, you know. All right, so we got a record player with a record. We got a groovy little blanket. A guitar. Wow. Murder at Mom was Montauk even back then. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. We'll just put that back down. Hmm. We got oh, a loaf of lamp. Alas. Not so groovy anymore. Alright. So, no, I can't look at the pick or that. Wow. Ooh, we got a letter. Brutal, Lori. Dear Opal, are you getting my letters? Brutal. I haven't heard from you since but you told me about Kurt. I've been writing you fair. every week. Things at the park are lame. All of the fun people left, and now it's just me. Gordon and the dorks from Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when st school starts, I guess, unless I'm too busy. Lori. Oh no, my bestie, or mom's bestie, not me, because I'm the daughter, duh, dummy. All right, we got Death of a Salesman, the school for scandal, oh, okay, um, glove box, holy shit. This summer's been real out there, but I've got to split. I'm not too hip on another winter with snow. I'm on my bike headed to Cali. Look me up if you're ever out that way. <gasps> Ooh, Kurt. Ooh. Oh, she took it. She didn't put it back. Ooh, thief. Uh, nobody cares about an owner's manual. All right, let's get our screwdriver. All right, let's make sure... I didn't miss anything. Nothing on the driver's seat. I already checked there, the floor. There's guitar picks, but yeah, I think for the most part, let's exit. How was the stuff? Funky as you'd hoped? Well, 
I found, um... This. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I'd put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. You won't be a dick. He we'll seems just go like with this option. Maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Until one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. And he was gone. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. No, you're right. I mean, eventually every relationship ends, right? Even with Grandma, right? Well, I mean, more... N no, not so much. Uh, I will always be there for you. You know that, right? Like we were there for Grandma. Uh-huh. But with someone you voluntarily put yourself into a relationship with, like a boyfriend or a husband or whatever, it's different. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom... What happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> breathe. Breathe, Mom. See? Take... This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Well, I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Okay, let's go back in, and then we will go check the room that was locked, and then we will wrap up today's open road video. This one's, uh, this one's a beefy, beefy Ah, one. door, we meet again. <laughs> but this time, I'm ready for you. Why is my mom, like, only shoulder in the shot? Where is she? <laughs> All right. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. All right, we got a book, uh, an astrology book. The Bible. Uh, we got a postcard. Holy moly, this is a long one. All right, you boys got to read it. Darling, now wait. It looks like somebody's getting cold feet all of a sudden. We had a plan. Leo dies. I make tracks for the border, and when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. I've got everything you could ever hope for here, a place of our own, a quiet little town where nobody knows our names, a pile of cash that'll keep us going till who knows wins. The kids will love it, too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly ideas out of your head. Get back on track, and we'll be together soon. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just going to leave us behind, but 
Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? Okay. Well, we learned a little bit more. Freaky. Yet appealing. Oh, Grandma. Spooky little slipper dippers. Okay. And some tissues, pillows. Uh, nothing to look at there. Can't check any of the drawers. The chair. Easter geese. Okay. Nothing on the goose. Nothing. A book. King, queen, royal flush. Okay, well, let's open the desk. Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Ah. Hmm. But this I gives me an idea. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right. <gasps> Aha! The little key I found had a purpose. Sweet. All right, let's start over here. Nothing to do with the books. We got a photo. Okay. A sympathy card. Our condolences. Our thoughts are with you, Janet and... Daryl? Daniel? Michael? How the hell? That says David. Okay, maybe he goes by Mike. I don't know. It makes no sense. Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all of this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too, you know. I... Uh, I don't know what that says. Have a right. Damn. Pierre Latrac, Box 9, Hoptal Lake, Cairndale, Ontario. Oh, shit. We learned who the mystery What's man that? is. Wh I'm sorry. What? What does he mean when he says those are his kids? Uh, I... W was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Yes, I know. Pierre I found Latrec, that Pierre Box 9, Hop 2 Lake, Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- Mom, stop. I don't know, I kind of want to do that one, but like this one. Um, I'm gonna do this the top one. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who who are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just gonna turn around and drive home? Okay, I gotta agree listen. with the daughter. Like, yes. you can't just, like, hey, pretend what's happening is not happening. You, know? skills. you didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. Okay. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with and, and why she never told me about it and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, 
We might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Right. I'll admit, Glad she changed that attitude you. hella no, quick, No, you just though. happened to be right. Like, literally, exactly. on the drop of a dime. Glad you came around to see things mind. my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Well, on, homeboy did say here. he had a bunch of money and that uh, he had enough money for them to live comfortably for who knows how long. So, uh, with our deepest sympathies, open. All right, I'm going to read it because, uh, yeah. Helen, so sorry to hear about your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. The Saltzmans. Okay. So just a pen, ashtray. Uh, Lake Royal Net National Park? Something? I don't know. All right, y'all. Holy moly. Today was a long one. We... We'll go outside, and then we will wrap up our video for the day. Dun, dun, dun. We'll look at this beautiful country view of the lovely scenery this game has. Okay, thank you all so much, us fam. For any of you who actually managed to watch this all the way through, holy crap, so many bombs went down in today's episode. So many new little pieces of the story, cool new things. I'm excited to see where the rest of the story leads. Hopefully, it'll go more into the uh, mo like Tess's mom's and her dad's relationship and like kind of going into why they separated because i'm actually really curious as to why they decided to part ways but yeah thank you all so much i love you all i hope you guys have have had a fantastic weekend and uh get ready for the next week this has been your sus bros <gasps> signing off again toodles <laughs>